there's a kind of a myth go- going around. You probably heard it yourself that oysters kind of increase your sex drive. Yeah. There was a girl on a date called Emily, and she basically heard this myth from the person she was on a date when she ordered oysters. You know, I think she originally order them to share and your man just didn't like fish so she basically tucked into them she was obviously a fan of oysters and your man kind of sniggered and she goes he, she was like oh what he goes well you know oysters make you horny <laughs> now i can say it didn't actually work for, at that time because she didn't actually end up going back with them and that's the only date that they actually have but they got her thinking what what is the actual science basis around oysters and making people horny? So the, so the scientific basis of why do people think oysters make horny is because oysters are high in zinc and zinc aids the production of testosterone in both men and women. Testosterone actually increases your sex drive. So you often find like with people who actually take performance enhancing drugs that they get like increase sex drive she's decided that she's gonna eat oysters for a full week and see what happens she's gonna increase the dosage of of the oysters throughout the week so she started off with like one on monday and she had that and she said i didn't really like she i think she worked in a bar uh part-time and she said she was more interested in the lad's shoes <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then she was in the lads themselves. She then upped the dosage to two. From that, she up to the four, and she wasn't really finding any real effects. Now, throughout this time, she was having sex, and she said it was more to do with maybe she was out having oysters and she was having a good time, and she liked the company that she was in, uh, rather than the fact it wasn't too much oysters. However, things started to change once she got to about 16 oysters. This was about by the Thursday. She started to feel that like her mood was elevated, that she was more in the mood. But she, once again, wasn't wasn't actually necessarily convinced that was exactly the oysters themselves. She said, well, I was drinking wine and like, obviously I'm doing this research. So I'm constantly thinking about my body, which is then in turn make me think of sex. Maybe it's just the fact that sex is on my mind. By Saturday, she she was at 32 oysters in one sitting. So she was down in 32 oysters. And she said after eating 32 oysters, she she felt a little bit nauseated. But she had a weird sex dream. (laughs) She had a a weird sex dream where she was in a desert with a guy. She doesn't know who. Having sex in the desert. And she said that he he whispered into her ear, Oh, you smell like oysters. Now... (laughs) I don't think he was like complimenting her. I don't think, oh, baby, you smell like oysters. I think it was more like, here, love, you smell a bit like oysters. <laughs> like it, it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily seem like the most attractive thing to smell like. <laughs> I don't think someone was kissing their neck and going, ah, oh, I just love the smell of your salty breath. <laughs> oh, that's sick. Uh, before I go on, your, on your, have you ever had oysters? No, uh, I like I've. I I don't know if I had oysters or if they're mussels, but I've had shell, and it just feels like phlegm going down your throat. Oh, sick! So like, it, it doesn't seem like it that like pleasant of an of an experience. Um, oh, that's disgusting. Yeah. So like, basically, the next day she was meant to eat sixty four. Obviously, she was doubling her do- dosage every time, every day. She started at one, she got two, then she went on to four. But by Thursday, she was on 16. And by Saturday, she was on 32. So she was meant to eat 34, which seems like a fear factor challenge at that stage, rather than... That's, yeah, that's definitely something Joe Rogan came up with. Yeah, then, uh, <laughs> then she did say, she like, after having the 32, she woke up feeling, like, really, really horny. So, like, uh, and she, but she couldn't stomach that it. That was probably the weird sex dream. Yeah, now, I think after <laughs> that, she had she went out to a bar, met a guy that she was flirting with, and had sex with him, and so like, yeah, it could have been just that she she had a guy beside, and she she just had sex and had, and a sex dream, so she could it could have been a bit of both. Um, yeah, but basically, she woke up feeling horny. She said she couldn't stomach eating sixty four, but she did have a good dollop of oysters that that same day, and she came to this conclusion, right? That okay, if you're having one or two oysters, it's really not going to be make a difference. In order to have any sort of a uh, impulse. You have to eat about sixteen oysters in order, to, in terms, of feel any t- any kind of a change in your libido in terms of if it will actually make you feel the slightest bit of horny. But she said even at that, like 
uh, if you're only eating 16, you kind of have to be in the mood for it anyway. You, you, like, and then and they'll enhance it. If you're not like, if you're like, have no like interest uh, or you're not uh, anyway thinking about like sex or anything like that, it won't really work. Now, if you have 32, if she said if you up it to the day 32, then you're more than likely going to suddenly get in the mood anyway. So that, that, that that's their kind of advice. Like the golden number <laughs> is right around 32 oysters in terms of <laughs> getting the right amount of libido in, into you, I guess. That's that's fucking weird. Like, why would you put that much effort into fucking that? Absolutely no idea. Like, I don't know how much oysters cost either. Like, that, that would have cost a fair bit, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Like, I think she, she lived in London based on her slang in the... In this, in the story, in the Vice story, could have been the Vice editor or whoever was writing it up, obviously. Um, but yeah, like like around London, she lived around London. She was like going to a wine bar buying oysters. She said like by the end of it, like she the oysters that she was eating, she felt like they were aggressively fresh. Is how how she, <laughs> how she was describing. So you might turn yourself off oysters in the process of trying to turn yourself on. Oh, definitely going to turn yourself off oysters anyway. Yeah, no, like, if, whatever about, like, maybe if you're into oysters um, and you're on a, in, on a date or you're in a restaurant and you order oysters or and you're thinking, oh, well, this this will make it more enjoyable if I'm really in the mood, then maybe order, like, 16 <laughs> oysters. <laughs> or 32. <laughs> or 32. This is like, yeah, just imagine going up to a restaurant, you're in a restaurant with a person you've just met or... For a person you're in a long term relationship, you haven't really talked about this true, and you're like, <laughs> you go, and the waiter comes around, you're like, uh, so, so, what do you want to order? And obviously, it's a French restaurant, <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, I want 32 oysters, please. <laughs> 32. Exactly, 32. <laughs> exactly, not 34. Not thirty five. Not thir- Definitely not thirty one. I want 32 oysters. <laughs> Why I want to enjoy myself later, <laughs> <laughs> and if they're not in the mood, then you can enjoy yourself by yourself. Jesus, <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I think this is some educational advice for our listeners. We don't generally give out educational advice, or when we do give, give or talking about something that my pe- people might take as educational advice, we have to <laughs> warn them: do not take advice off the Shy Talk Podcast show. But I think we can say today safely that you can actually take this advice because I don't think there's any long-term health risks of eating 32 oysters. Maybe not eat them every day. Um, if, if you're allergic to shellfish, maybe don't. I'm pretty sure if you're allergic to shellfish, you probably won't take this advice blindly. Like All, all you really have to do is find out how much zinc is in uh, 32 oysters and then just supplement that in, in your diet. And you'll feel more horny, hornier, surely. There's plenty of foods that have zinc in it. 